Well, earlier tonight, Frank Luntz told us that there was a moment that tested very high with the voters and the focus group. What was it? Back again, Frank Luntz and the focus group. So, Megan, it wasn't actually John Kasich who did incredibly well tonight. It was from the senator from Texas, and he addressed an issue that is near and dear to our focus group's heart. Let's take a look at the best tested line of the evening. Detroit is a great city with a magnificent legacy that has been utterly decimated by 60 years of failed left-wing policies. You know, Henry Ford revolutionized automobile manufacturing and brought automobiles to the middle class. During World War II, Detroit provided, funded the arsenals of democracy to help us win World War II. Raise your hands. So what is so positive about that? Did it, did it connect to your heart? Yes, Ted Cruz is a convicted conservative who understands what's needed in order to get Detroit back to where it was before. And I appreciate the fact that he pointed out the failed liberal policies of all those years. Explain to me the clip. I admit that Ted Cruz is a great debater, and he is absolutely right. Failed liberal policies have destroyed this, this city. What was it? These, we have family businesses, independent businesses here struggling, and he spoke directly to us and showed us how he can help us make it better and help us prosper and grow. So what advice do you have to these candidates now? There's going to be one more debate before the next big vote. What advice do you have for them? Right there. Go ahead. What Mitt Romney said that everyone should remember, he, the first few words he said was, we Republicans. We Republicans. Trump always refers to the party as them and they. So we Republicans is... What advice? We we do need to unite behind one candidate eventually and providing the opportunity for people to know that we are about growth, opportunity and prosperity instead of all this bickering is what people need to see, especially young people. Right there. We've got to quit the infighting. The only thing we're doing is we're giving more sound bites for the other side to show how, how poor we're doing. So I want to do one more clip from John Kasich because he talked about the issue that not only unites Republicans, but unites independents and even conservative Democrats, and that's the budget. Let's play the clip of John Kasich absolutely scoring through the roof on what he would do to balance the budget. When you have common sense regulations, lower taxes on individuals and businesses, and you have a fiscal plan that makes sense, the job creators will expand employment. And what happened? When I was there, the jobs were exploding. Bill Clinton's tried to take credit for it. When I went to Ohio, we're up 400,000 jobs. It's the same formula, but it isn't easy. I fought the entire Washington establishment and won. So we had more people. That, um, that was, how many of you had a favorable reaction to that? Raise your hands. I want to end this segment with lessons for Donald Trump because so many of you, raise your hands if you walked in here supporting him. More than any other candidate, what advice do you have for him? Well, as the general election nears, I think he needs to stop arguing and, and belittling other people. What advice? He needs to get on the issues, stick to the issues, and take a, uh, take a lesson from Governor Kasich and not, not take a bite out of those temptations. Governor Kasich was very specific. He gave us tangible solutions. Mr. Trump has done things that, that have been good, but he needs to tell us what they are. I would say don't back down and don't let the establishment run you over. One more. What advice? I absolutely agree with him, but to get the people that are undecided, I wish he would just be a tad more presidential. Just a tad. <laughs> so this is, this is legitimate messaging from people who support Donald Trump, who walked in here with the most voters of anybody, and John Kasich walks out of here winning this presidential debate. Megan, back to you. Frank, thank you.